Hey everyone, this is Sumlock24 and today we're going to be talking about the Bujin deck and I, I did uh, try to pull at least uh, the third Bujin cra uh, crane but my luck is just completely terrible. I went through a ton of packs and I couldn't get the third one but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the uh, I guess the discussion and the deck still works with two but uh, it's preferably to have three. Um, I am running two because I don't, I don't have the third one. If I did have the third one, uh, I'll probably uh, take out maybe the... Uh, the Quillen, but um, I am currently running two and then three uh, Yamato and then two uh, Mikasuchi, one Quillen, two uh, Arasuda, and then uh, two Centipedes for the spells three Tyson Brethren, uh, three Mirror Walls, and then two Wall of Disruptions. The deck overall, I, I would say it's in par with the uh, with the Girgia deck. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, if it's a little bit better than the Girgia deck, I think that they're just they're just going hand in hand. I think uh, the Girgia does have a ton more of protection, whereas uh, this particular deck has basically uh, it runs the three mirror walls, the wall of disruptions, and then the cranes. I think that's that's a ton of protection also. So uh, I can't decide whether this is the better deck or whether the Girgia deck is the is the best deck. But uh, anyway, if you're not familiar on how Bujins work, basically what you do is you you always have Yamato out on the field you protect it with the crane you destroy back row with the centipede uh, and then uh, some people run the hair I don't like to run the hair it's just a basically a stock card it, if you don't know what the hair does it's, it prevents one of your monsters from uh, from getting destroyed let me just go ahead and search uh, search them up hmm So here it is. Uh, during neither player's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard than target one Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control. Once during this turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. You can only use the effect of Bu uh, Bujinji hair once per turn. Uh, again, I don't like to run it. Uh, some people do decide. I've seen a ton of deck lists that run maybe two of these guys. Um, I prefer to just run the uh, the Centipedes and the uh, uh, and the Quillen. I think they're a little bit better. They they do something as opposed to just stall out for another turn. Uh, I think they're just a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so basically it's protect the Yamato deck. It's That's basically all you really do. And the strategy is actually good. Uh, especially if you're anywhere from like low to platinum. You're just going to completely trash a ton of people. Um, one of the things that um, I think... Restart might work a little bit uh, with this with this particular deck uh, since you don't really care too much about uh, How many cards you have in hand, but rather getting the uh, uh, Ties of the brethren to uh, to your hand as fast as fast as possible uh, Balance doesn't work with this I guess again. They uh, they nerfed balance. So uh, It is three uh, three ties of the brethren. So most of the time you are gonna be seeing it uh, in, your, in your starting hand and if not you just basically try to protect the Yamato or try to protect uh, whatever Bujin monster you have out on the field and with this particular deck you can you can protect for a really 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 long time uh, again the Yamato is the key card uh, the Mikasuji I, I don't I don't know it's, it does it, it helps uh, somewhat it's 1900 attack uh, if you don't know what it does is uh, when a beast type Bujin monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect instead of Targaryen, you can special summon this card from your hand once per turn during the end phase if a Bujin monster was sent from your hand to your graveyard this turn. While you control this face-up card, you can add one Bujin spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can uh, you can only control one Bujin Mikasuchi, and I think that's uh, all of them have that same effect where you can only control like, one copy of them. So this is the deck that I'm running again. If I had the... Uh, the extra crane I would run it. If you do have it, I'd highly suggest that you do run it. But let me go ahead and show you just a couple of uh, a replay. I think I only had time to record maybe uh, two or three uh, replays. I'm calling out the LV6. Uh, again, I didn't play much uh, last season or this current season. So I just don't, I don't really have the time for it. Alright, so it's just two uh, two replays. And again, these are like really, really low rank gameplays, and I, I'm trying to get you more high quality, but I just can't find the time. I guess uh, <laughs> I've got too much stuff that I gotta do, and I know I'm I'm using that as an excuse. And I said 
and my previous videos that I'm gonna try not to use that as, as an excuse, but I mean it's it's the truth. All right, so basically, the model types of brethren search out the other two. Uh, end phase, Jamaras effect. Search out train, ditch out a centipede, uh, and then for the other one you draw a card and then send w one card to the graveyard. So in this case is another centipede. All right, so here a centipede destroys back row. Uh, he chains enemy control, which uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, I can still switch it back to attack mode and just set uh, attack with crane because he doesn't have anything in hand. If he did have cards in hand, I wouldn't have uh, uh, used the crane. I don't think. But um, you do have to, uh, the deck does tame, uh, take some skill. It's not like uh, it's going to take a ton of skill, but you do kind of have to read what your opponent has and what, what it doesn't have. Um, but mostly it's, it's, it's almost on, on a safe, uh, what is it? It's like a, like a self-pilot mode, basically. It's extremely easy to use. It's ex straightforward. Uh, the only thing you have to read is what, uh, what's in the back row. And what his possible outs are, and that's about it. Um, this card doesn't really care much uh, about back row because it does have uh, it does run two centipedes, and I think centipede is extremely extremely good in this particular deck. Again, just extremely easy to, easy to use. Uh, basically, everything is gonna be the exact same thing over and over and over again. And here I switched, I had that in defense mode because I didn't know if he had a wall or what, so I, I was reading into a wall, so I just switched that to defense mode just in case he did have a wall. And, or I think I should have changed uh, this guy into defense mode because the defense is 1900, but <clears throat> to, to be honest, I wasn't paying much attention. I was, I was, still, I was still at work, and I was still doing some work, so uh, again, the deck is really easy, so you can probably play without paying too much attention. Uh, and there he goes, he surrenders. But uh, I guess only two uh, two replays for today. Uh, let me go, go ahead and show you the deck list one more time. And let, let me compare this deck with the uh, with the Girgia deck. So uh, as you can see, you basically go into this uh, into the other model, this guy and this guy, and then you have three walls uh, and two disruptions, and then the th the the cranes as a defense. Uh, whereas the Girgias, let me see, I should have one built somewhere. Let me go ahead and just look for it. Uh, I think I have them in the in the new one. Let's see. All right, so here's one. Hopefully, this is it. All right, so l just look at it. It's basically the exact same thing. Uh, the only major difference is that with the Bujins, you do have uh, let's say you only have a limited amount of destruction. Whereas with the Gergias, you can flip this as many times as long as you have it out on the field. Uh, and whereas the Abujans, if you have a centipede, you're only going to be able to use it once. And this one can just destroy way, uh, way more spell and trap cards that are on the field. As opposed to just one with a centipede. Uh, same thing with the Gergia Anchor. You can destroy up to two monsters on the field. Whereas with the, uh, what is it, the Quinley or Quinley or whatever the name is. Can't remember it, but uh, it, it only destroys one monster. Uh, and then for defense, again, the three mirror walls, the two uh, pulse mines, and then three sphere caribos. Uh, pulse mines, are, I think, are actually a little bit better than the wall of disruptions because uh, if you're playing against heroes and you, they if you use mask change, the pulse mines are still going to switch the next one to defense mode. Uh, and then the next one after that, if he decides to go forward with it, which I don't know who would, but uh, anyway, pulse mines are way, way better than the uh, the wall of disruptions. But uh, overall, I think both decks are somewhat similar. They basically do the exact same thing. If you have the Girgia deck already built, uh, which it's way, way easier to build the Girgia deck uh, since it has less uh, super rares. Uh, the sphere, uh, the sphere caribos aren't really necessary. Uh, you can get away with it. You just run on uh, three more wall of disruptions, and you basically have this exact same thing uh or maybe enemy control well you can't run enemy controls because you're already running post mines but you can run the um what is it the uh the i, I keep forgetting the name of the card this maybe a secret to armor widespread ruin or the uh the the security orb i think it's called 
I want to suggest to the fans you can always run that. So overall, the gear gas are way way cheaper, and they're at par with Bujins at right now. Uh, I think Bujins do have a potential to get a little bit better, and so do uh, gear gears. Uh, gear gears do have a ton of potential, especially when the more Karakuris get added. They do have OTK potential, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what cards get released and what don't. And for now, I think uh, you're better off with uh, well. With either deck, they're they're both fine. But if you don't want to spend it as much, go with the yeah uh, with the gear gears. So I think that's gonna be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you are enjoying my content, do subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.